Intense heat is coming back to Texas over the coming days, but for the first time this summer, we're also going to have to keep an eye on the Gulf of Mexico for tropical mischief. Let's talk about it in this hump day edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Good morning. It is Wednesday, the 16th of August, 2023. I'm Texas Storm Chasers, Boldy and Chief David Reimer. We are going to be keeping an eye on the Gulf of Mexico as we get into next week. But before we deal with any of that, we're going to be dealing with additional intense heat as the upper level heat dome returns to the state, along with dry weather and a return to extreme wildfire conditions. Let's just pop on over. Let's take a look at the upper levels just like we did yesterday. We'll try to go through this a little more quickly than I did yesterday. So this isn't a 10 minute video. Today in the upper levels, about 18,000. 500 feet above the sea level uh, is halfway between surface top of the atmosphere little bit of a upper level storm system over portions of Alabama, Tennessee that has allowed northwesterly flow aloft to push that cool front or not as hot front further south into Texas yesterday with a resultant drop in dew point temperatures, which even though it was still hot for most folks, it was a drier heat compared to dew points in the mid and upper 70s, the tropical air mass. Big high pressure dome over the four corners of the western United States. So we head into tomorrow, that high pressure is going to start moving back east towards us, and that's going to result in an uptick in temperatures and a reduction in any sort of precipitation chances, not like we've seen much anyway. Upper level low over the Great Lakes into Canada. We're watching an upper level low across portions of the eastern Pacific west of California. That's brought some thunderstorms and ignited some wildfires in northern California yesterday. Tropical system across portions of the eastern Pacific, no issue for us. So we had the Friday upper level heat dome returns and sits its happy self right on top of us, resulting in it's probably some of the hottest temperatures we've seen this summer, unfortunately. And that's not good considering how hot this summer has been. Storm system over California that could result in more thunderstorms and with heat continuing out there could also spark wildfires. Storm system over the northeast United States associate chance for some showers and storms. Here is Saturday heat dome intensifying over Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri. We're still in it in Texas, which means it's going to be hot. West coast of the United States, generally speaking, unsettled in the weather department, but with very warm temperatures continuing, that definitely is a concern for dry thunderstorms and the potential for wildfire ignitions. Storm system moving out of New England up towards New Brunswick and Newfoundland, and then a possible hurricane hurricane off Baja, California. Here's 1 p.m. Sunday, hurricane off Baja, California. West Coast of the United States still remains unsettled with above average temperatures. Heat dome. Strongest part of the heat dome technically at this point is going to be setting up across portions of Kansas, Nebraska, moving towards the Midwest, where they're going to have probably the hottest weather they've seen so far this summer. And for us, that also means we're going to have a bit of a westerly flow set up, especially across the Gulf of Mexico into South Texas, and that's going to be important for tropical mischief next week if we have to deal with it. We'll talk more about that. You can see that little area of low pressure, disturbed weather over Florida. That's going to be moving west into the Gulf by Monday, and that could become a uh, bit of a problem. Maybe. De definition of problem, you know, being the key here. Here's the high-rise rapid refresh for today into tomorrow morning. You can see cloud cover this morning into this afternoon across South Texas, the Rio Grande Valley, Rio Grande Plains. Maybe a couple of pop-up storms across South Texas towards the coastal bend. Otherwise, it is going to be mostly sunny and dry across a vast majority of Texas today, tonight into tomorrow. Wildfire danger today very high across a good portion of eastern Texas into central Texas, Brazos Valley, north Texas. Same story as we've had the last few weeks. Tomorrow and Friday bring us back from the very high to the problematic extreme fire weather conditions, meaning that any fires that develop have the potential to grow large, uncontrollable, and require a substantial augmentation of fire resources to contain fires. And of course, if we end up having any in the wildland urban interface near structures, near communities, those have the potential to cause great problems. So, uh, even if we're talking about tropical mischief next week, the wildfire danger is certainly not going away anytime soon. In fact, even with tropical mischief next week, that's not necessarily a guarantee. We're not going to be dealing with fire weather issues. All right, from the National Hurricane Center, this is a area of interest we're going to be watching generally from about Monday through Thursday of next week. At this point, this system does not exist. It'll be over Florida on Sunday, moving west, and then we'll just have to see how it materializes a tropical wave, a little storm system of disturbed weather in the Gulf of Mexico, probably going to be moving west Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. 
Given the temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico, temperatures near 90 degrees Fahrenheit for sea surface temperatures, which is gasoline to tropical cyclones, uh, relatively favorable environmental factors, there's certainly the potential we may have a tropical uh, spinny spinny doom doom try to get itself going before moving west towards Mexico, maybe the Texas coast, towards the middle half or the middle of next week in about a week, really. Uh, and that's about all we know at this point. Hurricane Center has given it a 20% chance of developing into a tropical depression, tropical storm within the next seven days. Uh, nothing for the next 48 hours. And again, we're just going to have to wait and see. We're not saying this is going to be a hurricane. We're not saying this is going to be a holy moly guacamole. It's the next pick your worst case scenario and throw that in there. We're not even saying this is going to be a tropical depression. What we are saying is for the first time this season, we are going to have to keep an eye on the Gulf of Mexico as we get into the weekend of next week, as this system generally tries to move on along to the west. Now, in the good news department, that means we could also have some rain chances, maybe cloud cover. At this point, it would probably be across South Texas, the Coastal Bend, Rio Grande Plains, the Rio Grande Valley. That upper level heat dome may be too strong across the northern two-thirds of Texas for really any sort of precipitation chances, but we'll have to keep an eye on it. Likewise, uh, given our current fire weather situation, depending on where this tracks and the overall intensity, uh, if it tracks to where we're not going to get much rain, but we are going to get maybe north winds 20 to 30 miles an hour with some subsidence or sinking air aloft, that could be an enhancement to the fire weather wildfire issue. Uh, September 2011, for example, is the worst case scenario. You know, the Bastrop fire, the East Texas timber complex, all of that happened when Tropical Storm Lee moved into Louisiana. All we got was westerly winds, northwesterly winds, very dry air mass and subsidence. And record high temperatures so uh, we're, we're going to keep an eye on it for sure in terms of temperatures over the next five days well well we're back to the triple digits today 102 in austin 104 in san antonio 103 there east of plainview west of childress oh i'm not going to say that's tulia because i'd be wrong because tulia is on i-27 i believe it's going to be hot Regardless, 96 to 99 in DFW. Enjoy it. You're going to be very much warmer tomorrow. 100 in Houston, 105 in Corpus Christi, 103 in McAllen. And then here's tomorrow where we are looking at potentially some of the hottest temperatures so far this year, unfortunately, especially across portions of Texoma and North Texas. 111 in Wichita Falls, 112 in Graham, 109 to 110 in DFW. For what it's worth, 113 is the all-time record high for DFW set back in 1980. 108 in Waco, 108 in Austin, 106 in San Antonio, 102 to 105 in Houston, 105 in Corpus Christi, 104 in McAllen, 103 to 106 around Midland, Odessa, 110 in Abilene, 103 in Lubbock, and 101 in Amarillo, 104 in Tyler. All right, and then here is Friday, officially a high temperature forecast to be near 110 degrees in the DFW Metroplex, 111 in Wichita Falls, 111 in Graham, 108 in Vernon, 106 in Childress, 109 9 in Abilene, 108 in San Angelo, 106 in Austin, New Braunfels, down to San Marcos, 107 in Waco, 104 in San Antonio, 100 in Victoria, 101 to 104 in Houston, 105 in Lufkin, 106 in, technically 106 in Lufkin, 105 in Jasper, 106 in Tyler, 101 in Texarkana, 103 in McAllen. Uh, it, it just really, nothing's going to change as we get into the weekend. Maybe some slight drop in temperatures across the western third of Texas that would knock you all out of the triple digits by Saturday and Sunday. But the rest of the state at this point, 103 to 110 degrees. And if that goes up anymore, we're going to start setting all-time record highs on Thursday and Friday. And all-time record highs mean records going back into the 1800s. So... It's hot. Clearly, this summer is in the top five for multiple cities across Texas, unfortunately, after last year. So now we're going to have to mention, you know, 1980, 2011, 2022, and the summer of 2023 as some of our worst case scenarios. And for some cities, we've already surpassed all of the above, minus, well, obviously, this is 2023, for records, continuous triple digit days, all time record highs. So unfortunately, it is another summer of hell across the state of Texas. We'll keep an eye on that tropical mischief as we get closer to next week. And again, we need the rain. So hopefully, we can get some rain, some cloud cover without any sort of. Uh, 
hurricane related impacts but at this point we're not forecasting a hurricane or anything like that but we'll watch it clearly because the gulf of mexico is about as trustworthy as a politician meaning don't trust all right that is it for your wednesday edition of the texas weather roundup it is another 10 minute video i'm sorry but blame mother nature it's not my fault y'all make it a good wednesday while the next texas weather roundup out by 7 a.m on thursday as always we'll keep an eye on things y'all do the same have a good one god bless stay cool